Hi everyone, in this video I wanted to share um, some of the fountain pens that I have and the ink that I have and hopefully encourage you to go get a fountain pen and an ink and use it instead of um, the regular pens that you have to throw away and use them only once and it is non-recyclable and it would end up in a landfill and just mess up our environment more because that is the essence of trying to live a zero waste lifestyle is to have as less as possible um, non-biodegradable waste okay so that is the goal of zero waste not to have no waste at all but have but if you do have waste that is not that are synthetic materials it is as minimal as possible and buy more things that are reusable instead of one-time use and would also encourage people to use or buy more natural fabric like cotton shirts um, cotton shorts and um, I'm a very um, active um, person I work out I have been doing yoga for 15 years or more and I do um, I do sweat a lot so cotton is very breathable if that's the uh, worry I haven't been using synthetic materials for I think over six years now um, because I just feel that the material is too warm it's too hot and cotton or um, natural materials natural fibers are more breathable and they actually wash really well and they dry real fast as well so back to the video and back to the fountain pens so this is my fountain pen this is a twisby and it is actually made in taiwan i'll be putting links to all of these items um, down below some of them from lazada some of them are from amazon so this is how my fountain pen works it's a um vacuum type of fountain pen so oh no i ink <laughs> so i'm getting my old shirt here so if you see the ink technically if the ink runs out i would put this in to the bottle to get some more ink so when the ink runs out you, you would just have to buy ink like refill so basically you have one pen for everything and if the ink runs out you just refill all you need to buy is an ink bottle now the bigger the bottle you have the longer it would last i have i've had this since 2020 and i do write a lot for work and for language learning um, i do write in the different languages that i am studying so i use these for my um, portuguese diary and my russian um, writing practice so some of the inks that I tried was this Carcos. Um, this is from Lazada and Oiso. OASO. Um, Urban. But again, the ink uh, bottle of this is because the idea of uh, um, a fountain pen is this part this portion the nib should be fully submerged in to the bottle and ink 
So the problem with ink bottles like this is if you've used enough of the ink, the level would go really low and it would be difficult for the vacuum to, um, the ink to go up. Which is why I prefer first, I prefer um, a bigger bottle, a bigger um, volume and so that you don't need to buy a lot of ink in the first place. Sailor is also a good brand. I also like this ink, but again, okay, so for this kind of bottle, if the ink level is this low, you would just have to pour the ink into this smaller bottle. Um, and what happens is this ink here, for example, this is what you have, right? You would put the ink from this bottle in here and you would put your pen inside and secure this and you would see that your nib would be so now if you turn it over this is how you make sure that the ink the nib the ink fully covers the nib and then you could turn this and vacuum the ink um, into the pen. So that way you would be able to 100% finish the ink and the contents inside this bottle. So we'll take it out and then use again my old <laughs> shirt sleeve. And that's it. You have a filled fountain pen ready to use. So, so far, those are the things that I wanted to share for my fountain pens. And I hope that um you've enjoyed this video and you would go get a fountain pen thanks for watching see you in the next one